no gun or knives here. Right. We're not robbing nobody. We're not begging nobody. Right. Every man here works. Right. It's not a sin to work. It's not a sin to work. I know that's teach you all up. Hustler, hustler, hustler. Nobody does foolishness, my boy. Get your education. Right. Get your studies right. And become somebody in this right. world. Right. You understand me? Because you from being a prince. Listen, don't worry, babe. You being a prince, heads up. You being a prince can make a difference for your people. Right. It's not a sin for you to make a difference for your people. Like you today, and the most I gotta show you, you should not 
follow the multitude, young man. Young man, they come to front. They come to front. God says, listen, listen to the Bible. Listen to the Bible. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Listen, listen to me. God says, don't follow a multitude to do evil. Anytime you see somebody doing wrong, whether you're friend, do not follow him. Smoking weed, drinking beer, rum, you name it. I don't care if it's done stuff, it's a thing, it's a trend. Do not follow him. You know what I'm you? God says do not follow him on the children of evil. But guess what? Who are they full of the persons? People like me and you, right? They got this here. That is true. We see that. We follow the prisons. For what? For some foolishness, my boy? We gonna kill a man for a flash drive. You believe that? We gonna kill my brother for a flash drive. Yeah. A flash drive is only five hundred dollars on the car, my boy. You what? get a junkie, you get your dollars, you get a flash drive. Why you kill a brother for that? You serious? And we are princes of this heart. Right. Give me Lamentations four and verse one. I'ma show the brother. The most God call us purer than gold. Bring yeah, gold, my boy. Bring it up. Imagine you have a gold around your neck. You can't wash his tongue. Who is gonna rob you? Your own brother. Your same people. We are the robbers of the street, and we have to stop. It's time to end it. This is where God showing our people. It's time to stop stealing. Stop breaking His commandments. Bring it up. And return to who we are, princes of this world. Get it? Revelation four one. We need to return who we are, my brother. You have a question? Sure. All right, good. So they don't stop thing. Get out. Who is your favorite singer? Wake up. <laughs> I know you still have every time you laugh. I don't know you lying, man. Do you have a favorite singer? Skank. Yeah, listen. So who would, who would you prefer to listen to more than anybody else? Who would give it a fight? Who would give it a motivation? Who? Don't be boss. Don't be boss. Who else listen to? Everybody. So tell me what kind of song from the bars is sick. God man. I did, I did. So the God man song, is it teaching you to rob and steal or defend yourself? Where's the image you trying to portray? Is he telling you to save your money? Put it in the bank? So it doesn't matter, but the song is saying you know. As a man speaking, so is his character. When we talk on the streets here, that's who we are. We're not gonna play or shine or nobody. Listen. Not one of us here have police records, my boy. And it is possible for us as a men, as men, be straight with the laws of this land. You don't have to be a still don't stop. That's foolishness, my boy. That's foolishness. And that's why God just said in Exodus 23, we should not follow a multitude to do evil. So listen to that brother that is not pushing anything good. Is you following the multitude to the evil? You think you're the only man who listens to Puppy Bass? No! Well, listen to this. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 4. This is what God has to say about you, my boy. How is the gold become them? God asks us. How is the gold become them? How is the gold of his people? My boy. God is asking, how is the princes of his people become so dim? Read. How is the most fine gold changed? How is the most fine gold, the most precious gold changed to become what? Earthly vessels, to become what? Don't stop, to become thugs in the street. We used to rule this art, my boy. There's a lot of history you don't know. Let me show you this. It's Psalm of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. The wisest king, you know about Solomon, though, right? You know about him? What do you think about Solomon? Hey, yeah, buddy. Where you hear about it? Where you hear about Solomon? What do you hear? What do you hear about Solomon? Something bad? He was a what? Solomon was a what? Solomon was a king. A king. Do we have king today? Bring it up. Do we have kings today? Huh? No, you don't know? The queen that died. What color what she look like? The Queen of England. The Queen. The Queen, the mother over there. What she look like? The Queen, yeah, what she look like? Who call her? She, she, she black? She white skin as he said, right? But God is telling us here who are the true kings. Listen to this, listen. Song of Solomon, chapter 
one verse five. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So this is the book is written by Solomon himself, right? I am black. So Solomon says what? I am black. Solomon says he is, he is black. And this is the king of Israel. This is the king. Was a black man, my boy. Right. How about Jesus? What does he look like? Yeah. Uh, which one is Jesus? Which one is Jesus, little man? Little man. The same one. The same one. Point here again, see? Yeah. The one, the palm. Which one? Show, show you by which one is Jesus, man. Show you, show you. Which one is Jesus? Palm, you see that? You see that? You see how they like it to us, my boy? Hey, what? Let show you that, sir. Remember I asked you earlier about the queen? And I show a white image. And I show you that the king is a black man, right? No, they show us that the Christ that we're supposed to believe in or in the churches is white. So guess what? We're going to see the Bible and see what Christ looks like. Let's see. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revelation, the root word is reveal. Revealing. If you reveal something, what am I doing? I'm showing you it, right? You understand? Read. Which God give unto him to show unto his servant. So the revealing of Father, my father, the revealing of Jesus Christ gave unto John the Revelator. And he gave it unto us too. Verse uh, 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. His head and ears, the ears of God's head, and his face is white in color and woolly in texture. Like you are here. Your brother here is your brother, right? The cousin here, my here, the brother's here, here, right? Three. Right. As white as snow. And it's white as snow, meaning like that. Like my brother far in, like white like that. That's gray, we call it today, right? Three. Right. And his eyes was a flame of fire. So when you look at this image, does any one of those descriptions fit? Being white and woolly and all of that? No, I show anyone, anyone you pick. The, the description we read in here, does it fit any one of these images? No. So guess what? This is false! That is what I'm showing you. This is false. This is not Jesus. This is not Jesus, my boy. So far, I guess what? I know why I missed all of them points. You know why? Because I want to see if you're going to click. This is not Jesus. None of those images. None of those descriptions given in the Bible fits this image that they give to us. None. Not one. So read back verse 14. I know I'm missing. His head and his hair were white like wool. So Christ's head and the hair on his head and his face, as you see here, it's not woolly hair. It's not woolly. But look at the far left of you. Is that woolly hair and white? Yes. Right away, so I get an image now. Right? This image is not. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. Your feet, your cousin's feet, is the same color as the rest of your body. Right? Right? Like unto fine brass. And it's like fine brass. Means brown. Brown like your cousin's skin color. You understand? Read. As if they had born in a furnace. So my boy, we you born anything in the fire. What color does it get? <laughs> yeah, you don't know. So therefore, I will tell you, the crisis. Crisis. Oh, Christ is what? Christ is black. That's right. Christ is a black man in the Bible, my sister. Those white images in the churches need to be torn down. Right. Need to burn up. Right. The Most High God says he is a black man. That's right. Not white. So that image we need to get out. You know what the people like say? Oh, it doesn't matter what Christ look like. It doesn't matter what you look like, it's the love. Guess what? God love is keeping his commandments. How about that? That's right. God love is keeping his commandments. That's Are we going over some for you? So you must understand, buddy. The things that we are learning today, even in the television and the radio, even in the churches, it's already manipulated. We should not follow none of that. You understand? And it's gonna save your life. Proverbs 7 and 2. Y'all gotta go? Alright, just some last scripture. Proverbs 7 and 2. I'm gonna show you that God's law is going to save your life. You're gonna live longer. You don't wanna live longer, you wanna die young. You don't? You wanna live longer. We'll show you. We'll show you the stipulation. Read. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 2. Huh? Keep my commandments. No, start with verse 1, sorry. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1. My son. My son. 
keep my word huh? and lay up my commandment and lay up my what and lay up my commandment my son keep my words and lay up my commandment that's a father talking to you that's like a father talking to you right right Wendy, keep my commandments and live keep my commandments and live not die live guess what you're gonna live long on this side and the other coming life which is the kingdom you're gonna live also that's right you just have to keep god's commandments my boy you understand all right i'll take care man Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 